YouTube. My name is Zachary Yellen. This is the first YouTube video I've ever made, and I'm super excited about it. Before we jump into the project I would like to do today in the Forge, uh, I first want to just give you guys a brief overview of what my expectations and the content I would like to provide you guys with. Um, my expectations are I will give YouTube videos pretty frequently, and then when I get to college, they'll slow down gradually. Uh, and then pick back up when I'm out. But um, the content that I will be providing you guys with is mainly going to be bladesmithing and blacksmithing along with some woodworking here and there and then vlogs when I go back to college. Um, so today's project I will be teaching and showing you guys how to make a beginner's level blacksmithing keychain fob. It's a little leaf only, only about maybe two, two and a half inches long. Um, I'll take you over to the anvil real quick and then we'll heat up a piece of metal and get to it. I wanted to go over a few things before we get started. This is my anvil, this is my blacksmithing hammer, and you don't need either of these two things to start blacksmithing or bladesmithing. What you need is you need a hunk of steel to hit on, a hammer, a fire source to heat up your metal, and then a passion to do it. If you have those four things, you're good to go. Um, I'm gonna go over the anvil real quick if you have one and you don't know this already. This is the face of the anvil where you do most of your material work and thinning out. This is the far side. This is the near side of the anvil. You have a hardy hole and a horn. Those are the basics of an anvil and if I got any of those things wrong please tell me in the comments below. I'm gonna bring you in real quick and I'm gonna show you the projects we're gonna be making. This is a leaf keychain that we will be making and the reason why we make a leaf keychain as blacksmiths and bladesmiths is because it works pretty much all aspects of hammer work. Hit hard when you need to and hit light when you need to and hammer control and positioning on the anvil so we'll be doing a lot of 45 degree hits on the edge of the anvil to make a nice point for it and there's a bunch of different hammer uh, techniques that are taught when doing this so if you're a beginner blacksmith or bladesmith and you want to get into this I would highly recommend making a lot of these little guys before you try making a blade I'm gonna go ahead and pop this half inch piece of bar stock I got from the store in my forge and I'll bring you in nice and close and we'll get to hitting some metal. of the far side of the anvil, you're going to take your hammer and accurately blow 45 degrees on all sides. As you can tell, I'm not the greatest blacksmith in the world, but we're going to get through this. like this. We're going to put it back on fire, heat it up, and we're going to go about, depending on how long your point is, so mine's a pretty long point, we're going to go about half inch, maybe quarter inch down, and we're going to start working on the far side of the anvil and uh, isolating a section of metal so we can make a stem for it. So depending on how long your point is, you can make the best judgment on where you want to isolate. Find the part you want to isolate, give it a nice whack, then you're going to go flip it one side, and you're just going to work those two sides back and forth. And when you're doing 
this, the most material that you want to lose is you don't want to go more than half the material because the point that it could break at because it's so small and you got a lot of mass on one side and not much mass on the other. That's, a, that's about half the size of the material that you want to do. So it was about a half inch and now the material that I have that I isolated is about a quarter inch. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to move another probably inch back right there and we're going to work from the near side of the anvil that's closest to you and we're going to work on this side and back and forth. And we're going to isolate this little section in between. That's going to be the stem of our leaf. start rounding it off and by rounding it off I'm going to take the flat side of my hammer and just gently those corners I'm going to start flattening them out actually I'm going to go back to the right side it makes it a little easier gently just flattening those corners out just so next to me, I can flatten them out even more and start rounding this off a little bit those surfaces with this heat I'm going to turn this square to an octagon, then we're going to go from octagon to a circle. As you can see, my material is starting to twist on me. That's alright. Just go with the flow. Now once you get that nice and rounded off, or until you're happy with it, we are going to heat up the tip of this, which is going to be our leaf. We're going to put it on the anvil at a, on a diagonal, and we're going to hit straight down on it. And uh, we're going to forge out a little leaf-like shape. Okay, we got that nice and hot. We're going to put it on a angle. We're going to hit slowly and then start getting a little bit more aggressive as it flattens out. back up we're gonna come back over to the near side of the anvil and we're gonna work this down nice and thin to probably about an eighth to a sixteenth inch and then we're going to twist it off to give that nice little scroll on the end section, grab it, and then we're going to twist it off and make that little scroll. Have it nice and hot, you're going to grab one side, and you're going to just twist off the metal. And it should make a nice little scroll, but as you can see, 
made a nice little scroll on the end, but then you we have that uh, that D lamb right there that came through. But we're just gonna go with the flow. We're gonna incorporate that into our leaf. I have this little rut right here that I made in this wood, and I'm gonna bow it down, and then we're gonna come up on the anvil and I'm gonna bow the tip down, give it a little bit more curvature to it. It doesn't need to be super hot, but it does need to be orange. As you can see, we're just giving it a little bit more curvature. I'm gonna come up here on the anvil, on the tip of it. Now we got that, that swoop and then the back up. Once that comes out, we're gonna bend it backwards and then back up and around. Temperature. So this is the part that I want to be the top. So I'm going to bend the stem backwards. I know it sounds kind of counterproductive. I'm gonna bend it backwards. And then I'm just gonna twist it on around. We're gonna heat it back up. We're gonna clamp that down. And then punch it in water and we'll be done. We're just gonna finish off this, bring it down. Then we're going to pinch it right about there. So it gives it a little bit more curve. Grab a steel brush. Brush it off. Hey guys, thanks for watching my short little video on how to make a small keychain fob for blacksmiths and bladesmiths. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Turn on the notification bell to see when the next video is coming, probably in the next day or two. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.